write the equation of sine and cosine function for both the green and the red and the blue greenhouses temperature now on this in this graph you got the temperature in degrees centigrade of a red greenhouse so this red graph is the graph of temperature of the red greenhouse and the blue graph is the temperature of mm, a, a blue greenhouse okay so we want to write the equation uh, the sine and the cosine function of both the graph so let me start with the red graph or the red red greenhouse so so whenever you're writing equation of a trig graph it's always good to write some basic facts okay so the basic fact is first let's write what's the maximum so the maximum if you look at you've got this maximum so I'm talking about the y coordinate the maximum temperature is 13 degrees centigrade and the minimum temperature is this is the minimum temperature which is 3 degrees centigrade okay now from this you can write the uh, find the baseline which is the average of this so 13 plus 3 is 16 so 8 degrees centigrade so 8 so this is 5 6 7 8 so this is your 8 which is your baseline so if you draw a baseline the baseline would go somewhat like this this is the baseline so this is your baseline which is halfway between maximum and minimum okay and the amplitude is the distance from the baseline to the maximum or baseline to minimum so if you go 13 plus what is sorry 8 plus what is 13 so which is 5 so amplitude is 5 and finally we need to write sine and cosine so if you're writing a sine graph you can start from maximum or minimum and if you are writing the uh, sine graph you have to start at the baseline so let's write the coordinate of the baseline here one coordinate here so this is the baseline so this the x coordinate would be halfway between the minimum and maximum so if you this is minus phi and this is minus two so this is this is minus two okay so this is minus two so the baseline would be halfway between this or you can take the average minus five plus minus two is minus seven so divide by two so this would be minus three point five the coordinate of this point is minus three point five comma eight we know the baseline is eight so we need this to write the sine graph okay so let me use a red color or let me use white color so uh, now we need to write so let me continue with red the starting point the starting point is I'm going to consider the starting point is minus 2 minus 2 comma 13 is the starting point to write the cos graph so to write the equation this is the general form let me write the general form y is equal to uh, the amplitude times cos or sine, so I'll write cos here, times 2 pi divided by the period. I'll write P for period times x. Here we'll take t. Okay, so here we'll write, so let me write general, so it'll be x minus the starting point plus the baseline. So this is the general formula so we forgot to write the talk about the baseline sorry the period what's the period here well the period is the distance or the wavelength so half the wavelength is how much from half the wavelength is one two three so the full period is six okay so if you're starting at a minus 213 which is maximum 
the graph, the equation of the graph is going to be positive cos. So the equation would be y is equal to the amplitude. The amplitude is phi, so it'll be phi cos 2 pi by 6, 2 pi by 6 times x. So I can consider this as x. So let me use a different color. So this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. On the y-axis you have taken temperature, on the x-axis you have taken time. So x minus, the starting point is negative 2, so x minus minus 2, close the bracket, plus the baseline. The baseline is 8. So let's simplify this a little. So y is equal to phi cos pi by 3 pi by 3 times x plus 2 x plus 2 plus 8 and that's the cos graph and if you want to write as a sine graph the equation would almost be the same so if you're starting from the baseline and you're going up from this point it is a positive sine graph so the equation is y is equal to phi sine phi sine uh, the same thing pi by 3 would remain the same the only difference would be the starting point so it will be x minus minus 3.5 minus 3.5 two brackets plus 8 so if you simplify this this would be y is equal to phi sine pi by 3 times x plus 3.5 plus 8. Okay, so these are the two equations for the red graph. Okay, now let me use the, for the blue graph, I'll write it quickly here. Yeah. So yeah, the, amp, the period is 6, so if you look at this, you're starting from 4 to 7, the period is 3, half the period is 3, so the full period is, full period is 6, okay, so if you take the maximum is 4.5, minimum is 0.5, so what will be the baseline, so the baseline will be the average of this two, which is 4.5 plus 0.5 is 5, so the baseline should be 2.5. Okay, and the period is, period is 6. Okay, so let me slightly drag it up. And then what do you need? You need the amplitude. The amplitude is half a, uh, so from the baseline, the baseline is 2.5, so let me draw the baseline. The baseline is 2.5, so this is 1. 2.5 would come somewhere here. So this is your baseline. This is the baseline. Okay, so the baseline is this point. So this, the coordinate will be, so let's take a coordinate here. Which coordinate can we take? So if you, go, if you take this point, this point would be how much? Between 4 and 7. 4 plus 7 is 11. 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. Am I right? Uh, 11, 4 to 7. So this is 4, yeah, 5.5 would come somewhere here. Yeah. That's right. So this coordinate is 5.5, comma, what? The baseline is 2.5. Hopefully you can understand my writing. So this is 4. From 4 to 7, halfway between 4 to 7 is 5.5. So that's that will be x coordinate, and your baseline is your y coordinate. So the amplitude from 2.5 to 4.5, the amplitude is 2. Am I right? Yeah. From this is this is 2.5. The y coordinate is 2.5 and maximum is 4.5 so the amplitude is 2 
from 0 0.5 to 2.5 that is also 2 so if you are starting at maximum so let's start at maximum so if you're starting at maximum the equation would be 2 cos the period is 2 pi by 6 which is pi by 3 times x minus the starting the starting point is 7 so x minus 7 plus 2.5 and if you want to write the cos graph, sorry, sine graph, you have to start at the baseline. So from this baseline, you're going up. So it's going to be positive sine graph. So it'll be 2 sine. This is pi by 3 would remain the same. Minus the starting point is 5.5. .5 plus 2.5. So you can check this on a calculator, try to write both these equations and see whether these parameters is, uh, is met. You have to have the maximum of minus 213 and minimum of phi, minus 5 comma 3. Now in my next video, I want to show you the algebraic way to find the, these points of intersection. So in the next video, I'm going to discuss how to use algebra to find these two coordinates.